Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between G2 and BLG during day 9 of the world's 2023 Swiss stage. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. They were the teams that wanted to be at the top of the table and now for one it will be absolute heartbreak and you have to know that the nerves are going to be really rising up. G2 yes, though, they see this and they're going to be able to wrap around behind. This could actually be this is going to be a disaster. They could be dead. There's 5G2 coming, and Elk is going to be collapsed on. On's just going to run towards them. Elk flashing immediately, but they turn it back instead. Caps is going to be stunned. He tries to get away. It's first blood over to On. The Braum gets the first one. How many died? He's under pressure. Elk's going to turn it right back around again, and BLG grabbing a second kill. G2 should at least be able to get Elk. They're going to grab you, Gal, as well. It's two for two in one and a half minutes. That is insanity, two for two, but it was a 3v5 for BLG, so the fact that they got that is incredible. The advantage, this is what I'm talking about, where the TP advantage can come through. Yike knows Shun could be here, and now he knows they're both there. Yeah. Uh, but if Shun goes straight up towards topside, this is awkward. Yeah, Gal stunned into the wall. Mickey coming up mid lane. Okay. The pressure from the Bard is huge as Shun is winning out in the 1v1, but it's not a 1v1 game. Yike flashing away, keeping himself alive. Shun steals the red, but now Broken Blade may just claim it. Ben's coming up, trying to chase him, trying to stop him, but Mickey's gonna pop him. Mickey, the Bard at level two with the Rome to get it done as Ben goes in. And and takes the red right back. This game is madness. The Croc is waiting on cooldowns. He has to try to get away from this one. Four seconds on the slice. Broken Blade and Yike will not hunt him down yeah. in time. They can't keep chasing. They know the cooldowns will be back up. If they walk into that brush, Bin could to allow Yagao to shove this wave up. Shun is okay. here in top side. If they get the stun from Renekton, the flag combo is guaranteed. Broken Blade doing a good job getting away for now. He uses the hop to try to get out, but they've still got the dive. Yike wanted to try to come up and cover, but BLG get the job done. He's gonna walk back. The entire wave will be dead and pushing to his opponent. Bin will base now with likely 2,000 gold is what I'm gonna estimate, but we'll see if Elk can get out. Yeah, Elk's in some trouble. Sidestepping oh. away from it, nicely done. Plasma proc might still bring him down, and it's Mickey getting the kill. Great sidesteps from Elk, but again, Mickey so active on the map here. He's been going if he needs to. BLG still going after the Drake. G2 not willing to challenge. You can see Yike channeling the recall. They're not going to go in for this one. BLG will take the objective. But again, look at the way it bought, right? There's no minions that are going to be collected down here. They're going to try to sell, send Elk. It's going to be tough, but they have to also still respect that because if he can find a good arrow here on Caps, he could get 100 to 0. Mickey rotating up, trying to help him, but the arrow misses. Caps with the nice sidestep. G2 Making are the coming. He has to make. G2 is ready to collapse. Broken Blade has the Narbar. On's only at half HP. The Herald still not killed off just yet. They want to go in for the Nar and try to kill him, but he transforms in time. Herald down to 800. It's going to be smited away. Finn with a flash stun, but Mickey goes on a magical journey. Caps tries to escape. Yag barely staying alive here and now, but Ben gets a killing spree. Broken Blade back over the wall. BLG get the one kill. Ben still chasing after Broken Blade. Not quite going to find him. The Herald picked up by Owens Braum. Being champion, the Nar. And we've been talking about how the Nar has been having a tough time. He's getting out farms to the bin diff. He still has more gold than Elk. So both of these players are the ones suffering the most oh, right know. now. Caps going to be knocked up into the air. Shock wave on top of the Jarvan means your gal gets paid. It's another but Bin in a great spot. The TP comes back in. And they could be looking at dive. I'm looking at Jarvan. They're going to go for this dive potentially here. There's no flash on Broken Blade, but he is getting close to Mega. This would be risky. It could be another punish. Shun is going to take the turret aggro for now. Drops the flag on top of him. They don't want to overcommit for it. Meanwhile, Twisted Advance here in the bottom lane. They want to bring in the Braum to try to save the Ash. Mickey going to take the damage here at the start. The Braum dropping the ulti here on the turret, but a TP is coming in to reinforce for BLG. Hans, Yike, Mickey all going on a magical journey straight to Blast Cone City. Get the hell out of town, boys. It's not looking good. Good. Yeah, good job on the disengage there. They're able to get out. They get the TP again off Ben, who's just been so active on the map, especially with Ben again moving. He's been so active on the map, yeah. constantly moving towards the team. He creates a big advantage against Broken Blade, and then he gets active on the map. But there's a... Dice is back around him on the other side. Wanted to try to avoid the ulti if he could, but there's no way to do it. 
You talk about, oh my goodness, hold on now, Broken Blade looking for Elk, wants to stop him, but now On jumps in, winner's bite, focus fire, Broken Blade is down, Elk gets himself a kill. Broken Blade trying to go for the big play there, wanted to scoop him into the tower and clear the wave at the same time, but critically there was one minion left, and now Bin, Flash is coming up, he has Dominus, he could look for Caps here. We'll see if he wants to go for the play. He goes for the slice, finds the stun. Caps, good job of the shifting sands to sands to buffer through the CC and get himself away. Exactly. Very quick there from Caps. Great reaction from him. But they're looking again for Elk, who has no flash. Glacial Fissure over the wall. A lot of damage here to Mickey. He saves himself for a moment. Hans looking to take down Elk. He's going to get him. And Mickey lives. Meanwhile, the dive coming out from Bin, but Caps stays alive too. Massive moves coming out from G2 as Shun wants to go in and find that mid laner and finish what Bin started. The dunk goes through. It's good. And BLG finally gets something back here. Now they're going to take the tier one turret on the top side as well. They're going to be able to get this tower, but G2 still staying so active on the map here. And Hans has been the benefit. Planers being on an island. Bin's an aircraft carrier. He's the size <laughs> of an island, but he moves around. This man is not afraid to get out of top and move that weight to the rest again. of the team as Caps is going to be thrown back by the shockwave. Stun into the turret thanks to the bard. Yagao is low. Stays alive with the Guardian proc from the Braum. And the arrow from Elk from a long way away finds the first target. Yike flashing out of the Cataclysm's walls. Dropping the Nature's Grasp to stop BLG's pursuable one. Yeah, and I think G2 are really happy about that. You're down two dragons. Your life on the line here. You're down thousands of gold. And if this was Hextech Soul, they probably feel like they have to fight for it. With Chemtech, you're probably willing to just give it up. Nice, nice art, ulti there. Unfortunately, it just buys time, and Mickey may just die for it. Yeah, Mickey going on the magical journey, though, gets away. Initially, they were worried about chasing him, but I think now they realize, now nah, let's get this dude, BLG. Shun is on a killing spree, and now they're going to continue pushing. They may have stopped the charge of the Tier 1 turret, but the Tier 2 falls. The Tier 3 may be next. G2, where are you? What is going on here? Han, Sama, and Yike cannot move forward and stop it. They're just not. Those couple dragons that they have grabbed. BLG, though, trying to move in towards this top side. Deny vision. They want to take away these camps, and they're looking for Mickey. Another good shot from Elk. They may have set him behind, but he's on one of the best utility 80 carries in the game, and he's still making his presence known. And G2 have to be careful because they didn't use Shockwave or Jarvanol for that. They did not overcommit. They spent just the Braum and the Ash ulti there. And there's the Shockwave. Shockwave on Caps, but he gets away with the Shifting Sands. Shun falling back is the Akathian Rain from Han Sama scared about earlier. It's the difference in those completed items. It's Yike and Broken Blade, the ones that have to go back because they're the ones that didn't have the completions. Now Elk, mistiming there on the binding from Mickey afterwards. It's not like it would have stunned him anyway, but it doesn't connect at all. So that's Bard ulti down. Cap and I shuffle back, but now it's going to be a Cataclysm on the two. Han's forced to flash away as the Twisted Advance tries to stop BLG from going forward. Instead, it's going to be a flash from Ben. Ruthless Predator to stun up the enemy jungler. Focus Fire comes through. One more hit, and Yike is down. G2 falling back towards the mid lane. But remember, there's not even a tier 3 turret to protect them. BLG has control of the rift, control of the chase down Yike. They focus him down and they get that kill. And G2 now, hearts in their mouths. No, this game is falling away from them. They're down 5k. They've lost the soul. Han's going to try to find an angle for Baron Seal. This the would be heroic seeker if miracle? They could do it. No, not quite. I respect yeah. the attempt. You got to go for something there. Have to. They're standing tall right now. Caps trying to clear out these waves. Shockwave whips. That's big. Not going to be able to catch Caps there. He's been so good on these shifts back to dodge out on some of these skill shots. But this is the problem. They're not finding the angle to fight, and it means you're giving up everything. That's triple and hip. Now the Bard ulti comes. They got to go. They got to go now. Nature's Grasp coming out, seeing if they might be able to lock him down, but no! Han Sama is already dead! Caps hit by the arrow! Shun's ready to jump in and try to take this guy down! He goes golden! Caps should die here! Yagao is in a killing spree! BLG are gonna win it right now! Mickey goes on a magical journey back to his own nexus, back to his own fountain, and that will do it! The last vestige of the LEC is wiped from Worlds 2023, and BLG earned their spot in the quarterfinal. These were some of the best highlights from the Worlds 2023 Swiss stage matchup between G2 and BLG. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.